IE7. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to open up SketchUp 2020 and also how to check that you have the extension, which is Ortho Views, which is something that you will need to create your drawing for the Hold It assessment task. Now, to start with, you need to go on your laptop and you need to go into the Spotlight Search, which is on the top right hand corner of your map. So once you click into that, you are going to type in SketchUp and we have all installed SketchUp 2020 on our laptops and that's something that we did uh, in the last few lessons at school. So once you see SketchUp 2020 on your laptop, you're going to double click it. Now, if it doesn't open automatically, what you need to do is go File, New from Template, and then you are going to select the template that is Architectural Millimeters. So that is this one here, okay? So it's very important that we are in architectural millimeters um, because we need to use millimeters for our assessment task because the design is 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters by three millimeters. So architectural millimeters is basically what we're going to be using. So when you click on that, you open up a new page. Now, alternately, if you notice in the bottom right hand corner, okay, that it is not in millimeters, and I'll just quickly show you how to do that to check. You can simply go up and select a rectangle tool and draw it in. If you notice that it doesn't say millimeters there, okay, then you will need to go and choose the new template. So to do that, you go File, New from Template, and then you can select the new template that you need, okay? So that one would be Architectural Millimeters. And your new template will come up and you can simply delete your old one without saving it. Now, it's very important Year 7 that at this point we check that the extension Make Ortho Views is there. So if you go up to the top, you'll see the tab Extension. Now you'll notice that mine is in grey, okay? So to check that it's installed, what we need to do is simply delete this person by using that arrow tool and clicking delete. And then if we go into the rectangle tool, which is the fourth one from the left, and draw a rectangle, okay, we then would need to highlight it using the arrow tool. And we hold down control click on the Mac to get the right click function. And you'll notice that you can select make component. So we might just call this a test square and we're good to go. We are also going to be now making that into ortho view. So to do that, you use the select tool, you highlight it, and then you'll notice that you are able to make it in ortho views because we have selected uh, the component. Okay, so if at this point you cannot see make ortho views, what you need to do is you need to go onto the Google Classroom because I have put onto the Google Classroom a package that you need to download, okay? It's called Z Scalar Root, and you'll notice that if you click into it, it opens, but then you need to download it, okay? So you simply need to download the package by clicking that download button, and you'll notice that down here it will appear. If it doesn't appear there, if you go into your Downloads tab, it will appear there as a package, okay? So what you need to do is open that up, and it has said that we can't open it up because it's from an unidentified user. And we did do this in class when we looked at SketchUp. So to overcome that, we just simply need to go up into the Apple System Preferences. And once that loads, you can go into Security and Privacy on your Mac. And where it says General, there is a little notice at the bottom that says Z Scalar Root package was blocked because it was not from an identified developer. So you can simply click open anyway and it will enable you to open it. Okay, what you'll then need to do is you will need to go through these few steps to install the package onto your Mac. Okay, so you simply click continue, install, and then you need to put the password for your computer in. And what it's doing now is it's installing the extension Make Ortho Views so that you can have that ready to go on your Mac. Okay, when you click close, you can move it to the trash 
And then we'll try again, you'll need to go into SketchUp 2020 by clicking on the spotlight search, double click on SketchUp 2020. Obviously it hasn't appeared, so I'm going to go File, New from Template, and I'll select Architectural Millimeters, and there is my template, okay? So at this point, if you don't have author views, we're going to draw that quick rectangle. We need to highlight it, right click by going control click, and then making it a component. We call that test square. And then if we go to extensions, we will be able to make that in ortho views. Okay, so once you have followed these steps and you have got ortho views on your Mac, you can simply move on to the next tutorial uh, for SketchUp for the Year 7 Hold It Assessment. Thanks, Year 7.